Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week and I'm glad I at least got to do a couple of videos this week. It's been, you know how it gets at the end of the year, you get that, I don't know, it seems like I guess it's just spring. I got spring fever, it's the end of the school year and just been real busy. But I do have some good things to show you today and if it kills me, I'm going to show you my, the rest of my stuff I got in Los Angeles and Let's see, I got one other pair of sunglasses that are not going to be everybody's taste. I mean, because that's, I've already got, you know, most of my basic type sunglasses. So now I always look for something different, you know, something that I don't have. So from now on, they're probably going to be kind of crazy, unless it's an aviator or something. Uh, and I've got all kinds of neat stuff to show you. I've got like a variety for sure. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you these. I put them on Instagram last night. I just got them in the mail yesterday, and I hope that I can find your name, but one of my wonderful subscribers and viewers told me about these when I asked you guys about them last week, and they are the crease, no crease hair clips, and when I looked on the site last night, um, you know, when she gave me the link, I just went straight to the link and bought them. They were like $6.99 for these. And then you had to pay shipping. I can't remember. It seems like it was $12.99 altogether. And they're in New York. Yeah, $6.99. And, uh, but so I didn't even have time to really read about these last night. I just washed my hair and threw them up and did them. And they worked so good. See how my hair's coming more down? And so what I did is I didn't do a bunch of concentrating on my bangs, separating them, bring them down. I treated them just like I used to. Just blew them out with the round brush, just like I used to. Um, I put one Velcro roller in the back. I went around my head with the giant two inch Hot Tools curling iron. And I literally separated my bangs out and curled them under. I did them one time and I thought, well, maybe that's not enough. And I did them one other time and then took them and you take this clip and what I originally did was more like this, like up here, so that I could flatten out that front part, because my hair naturally just wants to go like this, you know? And then later on, what I did um, until I went to sleep is I just kind of did them like that. And then that trains them, because mine want to go in, like shimp off Three Stooges. The, not last night, but the time before, I mean, it was almost comical. I had to use like a flat iron, two curling irons, everything. And then Brooke finally came in and said, just bobby pin them back. And so that's what I did, but that left a little mark. But at that point, I didn't care. But, um, and then it trains them to go back and this doesn't leave a crease. And five come in a pack. And I believe there was another design and there are other colors, which this is what I would want anyway. So anyway, love those and oh boy, it made it so much easier. It really did. So I wanted to tell you about those and thank you very much to you who told me about it. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yesterday, I finally made it out to Belk to pick up this, which is the Laura Mercier Black Ebony Cake Liner. And it's what I have on today and so far so good. Now, I asked her, you know, um, my friend Monica from Dillard's is working there now, and luckily she was there yesterday. I asked her about the activator or something. She said they don't sell it anymore. She said they just tell you to use water. So that's what I did today. And I would say that it worked just as well. The big thing with the, it's already passed one test. It's definitely black, way better than the Bobby Brown. The next test is going to be, and this is where the Trish McAvoy, you know, they say that you can use their shadow liners as, you know, wet them with their activator and use them. But those, for some reason, I've done it like two or three times, they flake off. It's almost like as the day goes on and as your eyes move and crinkle and dry out, that liner flakes off of me. Now, so the test will be is if the water will keep this on all day. And I will let you know because when I edit this video, I will have had it on all day, believe me, because I will not get to edit this until late because so far, so good on that. I could I could tell that it still is different than the Chanel. And I was told on Instagram yesterday that they do still sell the Chanel cake liner in the UK. They don't sell it here. I went to the Chanel counter yesterday and um, she said they didn't, they discontinued it. 
that's what my Chanel girl said. So it makes sense because I can't find it anywhere. So we'll see how that goes. And um, my mom for Mother's Day, the only thing she would tell me that she wanted was a red lipstick. She said a watermelon red. No, yeah. First she said strawberry, and then she texted me back and said, no, watermelon. She wants more of a pinky red. So I ended up getting one at Laura Mercier, and then I got another one at MAC. Um, I think I got MAC red, and then the one at Laura Mercier. I can't remember what the name of it is. And um, I went to Chanel. I went to Bobby Brown. They didn't have one that I liked, and I ended up getting two other things. And then I went to Chanel, and they were having an event, and nobody everybody was busy and everything so I ended up I had to leave so I'm gonna look at maybe Ulta today because I wanted to get her a few of them and um, just for her to have, have different colors so when I went to Bobby Brown one of my friends from Dillard's Shannon was there and I ended up getting this which is what the makeup artist that did my makeup for my little party in California she used this as my contour and bronzer so that's what I use today so this is all I have on I don't have on the Mac um, NC 45 I don't have on the Lorac I don't have on anything but my foundation this stick and the La Mer powder and it is the just the foundation stick in um, warm almond 6.5 and what I did is just put a stripe, a stripe, you know, like you've seen me do with like the nude sticks and on my jawline and I blended it out with a Tarte brush. And I have gotten so many nice things from Tarte lately. I got the most wonderful basket from them for Earth Day. Let me show it to you. The stuff's not in it, but I wanted to show you the basket. Hold on. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful with um, seeds that we're gonna plant? I did a tutorial earlier in the week. It was Tuesday. And I used all these new Tarte products that they sent me, plus the Tarte in Bloom palette. And it was just, it was a terrible tutorial. I, I edited it and everything, but I told myself, you cannot post that. So I'm going to try to do it again. And what I might do is just, out of all the Tarte products I've gotten lately, show you my favorites. Because I have really gotten some good stuff, including a mascara some really good stuff so but I thought this was so cool I mean beautiful they have um so I used a brush that they sent me in that basket it's a dual ended brush to just blend it out and it is beautiful and because it's a foundation stick I think it still gave me that little bit of coverage that I like to have that yummy look you know what I mean and um so we'll see how it goes now, I'm glad I got it and I loved it that day that she used it on me then, while I was looking at the lipsticks, we were trying to find one for my mom, I looked down at Shannon's hand, and she had the most beautiful little patch of pink goodness on her hand. And I said, what is that? And she started laughing. She says, oh, she said, it's one of these, and it was one of these eyeshadow sticks. It wasn't this one. It was the one called Malt. And she had put it on her hand and then out of, she walked around the counter and there was three new palettes um, from Bobbi Brown and their um, pink, I think it's the Pink's collection. And their furthest one to the left, um, on the bottom left, there was a real shimmery shade. She had taken that and really patted it in there. So of course I said, I want it. It looked just like, just a beautiful eye look that I would love. And of course, they were out of that palette and we couldn't find anything else. So she ended up swatching all of these sticks. And when she swatched this one, I decided on this one because I felt like this was enough to use on its own. Whereas the malt almost needed something to go over it. And so this is what I have on today and it's called Nude Beach, which I love. And I love anything called Nude Beach. And so... I have that on today, and what I have on my lids is the lightest pink color out of the Natasha Denona palette. And then I did put a little bit of that color that's right beside it, but honestly, I could have just used this. It was actually darker than what you see now, so you can definitely just use this if you want to, and it's just beautiful, and they blend out nicely. It's not something that's so much better than like the MAC shadow sticks or I think I think it's nicer than the Laura Mercier too 
it's kind of like the Trish McAvoy. If you like the Trish McAvoy, you know how they blend out real pretty and solid. Just a pretty color, and I thought it would be such a good base. And like, but um, so that is all I ended up getting at Belk yesterday. I didn't get any. I've been I've been trying to not buy a bunch of stuff because I have so much good stuff already that I want to use. I was talking back and forth, texting back and forth with Meredith, um, who get, brought, came to my party and brought me the um, O and M products, and I was telling her that you know I needed something a little bit. You know, because my hair wasn't, I like it when it kind of clumps together and has more of a funky textured look. And just that O&M Atomic Spray isn't enough. She said to think of that as more like a prep spray and a heat guard. And so she asked me, did I have the, um, what is it? It's that real, Orbe Style Cream, Styling Cream. And she said, I might send that to you. I said, no, no, don't send it to me. I can go get it. And so I went to go get it, and when I walked in, they had redone the whole, you know, section of products, and they had some new stuff in, this R & Co, and the lights are drowning it out, and um, from what I understand, Meredith told me that it is by the same maker, the same company as Orbe, and so I sent her a picture and I was like, is there anything in this line that I would like? And so she told me a few things to get. And she even said that I could get the styling cream from this line instead of the Orbe, which was great because it was a little less expensive. Um, I don't even know how much this was, but the Orbe was like 40 something. And John and Brooke complain when I use Orbe because of the strong, strong smell. And especially John, because if I use it right before I get in the bed, when I do my hair, he really smells it and it irritates his sinuses and everything. So anyway, what I ended up getting was the R & Co Jackpot Styling Cream. And I've used it twice now and I love it. But I was thinking last night when I was drying my hair, what I was going to tell you about this. It has hold. And I went online, I went on YouTube, and I went to their site. And when you clicked on the video about this, it was a YouTube video of a guy. It was kind of a cute little video. A guy styling a girl's hair. And I put it on like he does, where he's already got it brushed out. And he really puts it on, more than just bending over and kind of wiping it through. He really makes sure it's on all of the strands. And um, that's what I've been doing. He said, with just, and this says, with just the right amount of staying power, this is the only product you need for everything from a slick back look to a perfect blowout. Apply to hair and comb through to get even distribution. So that's what I've been doing is I've been combing my hair out after I spray. I put a little bit of the trauma treatment because it's been good to me. A little bit of the jackpot spray because it has that good heat guard and it just has such a good soft consistency and it makes my hair real just full and then I've been brushing that out and then taking a good amount of this like a good quarter size amount putting it in my hands and really running it through my hair I mean all the way up to the roots and it really has hold you can feel it when you're blowing out your hair it's way more than like perfect hair day or um, any of those other um, the it's a 10 um, any of those typical styling creams that I've probably told you about in the past, this has more hold. And I love it. I mean, it really, I mean, holds the curl that I put in there, the bend. I mean, because this is just with that great big curling iron. And a lot of times it would be flat by the next day. And it really held it for two days. So, so far, I really like that. Um, I saw this. Look at the just packaging on this. It's gorgeous. I bought this, which is the R & Co Outer Space Flexible Hairspray, and I just mainly bought it to try it, and because I can always use hairspray, and I'm not going to lie, the can suckered me in, and I've loved it. It just has a really good scent. All of these have a really good scent, kind of like a beachy, um, beachy a little bit, and a little bit of hairspray scent, but just a good, fresh, cool scent. And then th this was the very first thing that Meredith told me that she thought was the best and the most known in the line. And it is the R Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. Um, shampooing Sec. And, God, I wish the prices were on this. But, um, 
And at first I thought, do I really want that? Because, you know, I really don't use dry shampoo all the time. I don't use it as much for, you know, like extending my hair. And the lady that was there said that this is much more of a true dry shampoo than the Orbe. It's not a texturizing spray. She said it's a true dry shampoo. And that kind of intrigued me because I've always loved the Bumble and Bumble. And that is a true dry shampoo. And then, um, so then I thought to myself, you know, as difficult as these daggone bangs are to style, which after these clips, it's not that difficult. I may not want to wash my hair every night or every other night. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm just so glad that I did. I have loved it. I've been putting a little bit in the back and it really does give it that body. And I think the last time I used it, it kept it cleaner in the back. So, so far, so good on this too. Is another thing, and I think this is by that same company too. They had a big display of this, which is the Smith & Colt nail polish. And some of the prettiest colors, not only are these bottles gorgeous, the prettiest colors ever. I mean, it took me the longest time to decide what colors I wanted. And the first one I picked up was this one, which is Psycho Candy. And I had it on in my last video. And one of the reasons I chose this is I felt like it was kind of close to Rose Among Thorns. And um, I had it on, but if you didn't really notice it in my last video, I kind of didn't do it justice because I painted my nails really quick before I went to bed. And I did put on a top coat, but when I went to bed, they got, they didn't really get smudged, but they got, um, you know, like when you go to bed too soon and they got almost like, what am I trying to say? The shine got taken off. It's almost like when I slept, maybe the covers hit them or something and the, they almost got matte. And so I'll try this again, but oh, what a beautiful pink. And then this color I grabbed right at the end. It just intrigued me. And this one is called Bitter Buddhist. And it's what I have on today. And I love it. I think it is the coolest color. And I think it's perfect for like, I always loved like the mint greens, you know, at Christmas with like an ivory outfit. And I feel like this is kind of like that summer version of a green a grayish bluish green with you know a light outfit I think or I think it would look good with black so I love these and they were $18 which is a lot but I think OPI and everything is $10 and you know Chanel is 25 so I guess it's right in between um, this okay let me back up because of course there's a story this is Dean Davidson um, a Dean Davidson necklace and I have another one that is similar that he sent me a long time ago. And um, do I have my phone up here? Yes. Last weekend or last week, I think, Dean texted me out of the blue. And um, he has, I have a, a USA text for him. And then I have a, his Canada phone. Um, but let's see. It's hi, Lisa. I hope you had an amazing trip to California. I have a special gift for you that I will be sending this week coming up, I just need the spelling of your daughter and son's names. I know Brooke, but just want to make sure I have them both right. I'm in Florida for a trunk show right now. And so I was like, cool, you know, how fun. You know, he's in Florida and he wanted Brooke and Will's names. So the first thing I thought of, this is going to be funny. First thing I thought of when I thought, I thought, oh, he's getting them a gift and I thought, I wonder if he's going to Disney World and going to get them like Mickey Mouse ears with their names on it or something like that. Um, you know, I just thought he was going to get them something like that in Florida. And I thought, just like he is, I thought, how sweet and thoughtful. So then, earlier this week, he said, your special gift is coming on Thursday. And so yesterday, I waited and waited as long as I could because I usually have to sign for his things. And then I left the... Um, the FedEx man a note um, and anyway bottom line I ended up coming home getting the package and it was a, this little box and I opened it up and here is the note and of course I'm dropping everything it says hi Lisa this is a special gift that I was talking about it's a limited edition diamond and 14 karat my heart's pounding 14 karat gold pendant we have only produced 25 units total and your pendant is number 18 if you look on the back, we have personalized it for you. Sending our love to one of our favorite people. Happy Mother's Day, Dean. So this is a diamond and gold, 14 karat gold pendant. 
And of course, I texted him immediately and told him, you know, the, the Mickey Mouse ears thing that I th thought. He thought that was so funny. And um, Brooke and Will's name, you won't be able to see it, but it is um, engraved on the back. I'll take a picture so you can see it, and it's numbered. And I never have to take this off. So I can still layer it. I ended up taking my, there's my U necklace, and my bar necklace is over there. But um, I told him, you know, that I'm, I'm kind of scared to wear it all the time. And he said, no, he said, you can wear it all the time. It will not mess up. You know, I wore it in the shower last night and I'm looking forward to layering it with everything and just not taking it off. I might even layer it with one of those or layer it with my Sheila necklaces, which by the way, I'm getting more of the, um, they come today. I ordered them day before yesterday. She made more of the big bird necklaces. So like that big bird, um, what is it? No, it's the big bird necklace. Not big bird, but <laughs> large bird necklace. But I love layering it with stuff like that. And um, so that you can layer it or wear it however you want to. I've got it on the middle one, but it has three different adjustments so that you can put it on. See, I've put it on the middle one. So thank you, Dean, if you're watching this. Um, I'm just... He knows how grateful I am. He knows what I think about him. And um, so I will put the link to this one down there. And there's also one that's just like it that is, you know, not as expensive and is the costume jewelry. And I think even Kelly at Oliver has a couple of those. And so I will put all the links to everything down below and I will cherish this for a lifetime. And I'm just, I told him, I said, I see more find jewelry in your future because I think he would be so good at designing wedding rings and wedding sets because of his architectural and just the way he mixes edgy with elegant and everything and he said what he might do each year is take one of his best pieces and make it a fine jewelry piece and make it limited edition which I think is so cool so this was one of my Favorite things, of course, that I've gotten this week. And then it just so happens I had just gotten these from Oliver. And they are a kind of an expensive brand, kind of like right there with like Danny Joe and um, what is this brand of the big statement necklaces? Um, Dylan Lex or Dylan X. And it's called Lionette, I believe. And they make the big, nice statement jewelry. And that is what this brand is, but these were not as expensive as I thought they were. When I saw them in the case and Kelly got them out for me, I expected them to be like two something. And I believe they were under a hundred dollars. I just took the tag, 98. And I just think they're so cool. They're, they're like really neat looking. And I, she texted me this morning and said that they actually come in silver with, gosh, what did she say? Earrings are available in silver with baby green for the people who don't wear gold. And because I told her I knew you guys were going to love these. But see, this has, um, it's gold and it has like, not quite clear. Yeah, let me see if I can. There we go. They're, they look clear, but they are actually, it's got like a little white enamel type piece in the center. And they're actually almost a little bit iridescent. They have almost a little bit of a hint of pink to them. They're just so pretty. And I think they're just so cool. I think they would look good with a, an awesome black dress or outfit to go to. A, it's kind of like Dean's jewelry. They would look good to go to a black tie event. They look will look good with a black motorcycle jacket. And that's why I like stuff like this and these other earrings that I've been showing you like these or um, Dean's knockout studs or my big Betsy Johnson studs. I mean, I just love that it's so versatile. So I had gotten these too. So I thought, oh gosh, they look good together. I love it. Here we go. I'm going all out. And I've got four pair of shoes here in front of me. And you remember the fifth pair. Did I get another pair? One, two, three. I ended up getting six pair of shoes because I showed you the Gucci shoes last week which i cannot wait to wear i might even attempt i don't know if i'll wear them today or not because it might get rainy but i've shown you my gucci shoes which i am so in love with and then the ones i bought from the resale shop the prada which i love those too and then when we went to the place where you guys loved that uh, fanny pack the navy blue 
suede one. Um, the store's name is Soul Shoes, and I cannot find it online, but it's in um, where Sheila lives, and I will try to find out. I don't know if I have a receipt because I had to throw away my boxes, but I will try to find out the number. But the shoes that I got there, you can find, but that fanny pack was awesome, and I don't know the brand of it. So, but the first shoes I tried on were these, and I fell in love with them. And they are not cheap. They're something I've never heard of. The brand of them is Salpy, S-A-L-P-Y, and they're made in the USA. Um, I got an eight and a half because I don't think they had eight in these, to be honest with you, and then I think the eight and a half fit. They are comfortable i mean they're the kind of shoes you know you can look at them and tell like dansko or you know shoes like that but they are so cool because they have the open toe and then this literally ties so you could tie it you know you could scrunch it up a little bit more if you want to but they look so cute with jeans and i think they would look good with um the right shorts or skirt or something like that or even dress and i just love them she brought these out to me and they are, I've got one pair of boots already this size. They are the Pedro Garcia, made in Spain. And you guys are probably familiar. These would look good with what I have on today. I'll probably wear these. Um, I've got the other boots. I put a link to the other ones I have down below if they even still sell them. But they're the perforated um, ankle boots, open toe that I wore last summer. I love them. They are just the most unusual shoes. And they're very, very comfortable. And so are these and just so cool and I love wearing navy blue and black a lot in the winter and these are kind of like year-round especially here because it doesn't get real cold here but um so this is the next pair that I got and I got them at that same store this pair of shoes I got we went to one of the malls I think it was in Topanga and it was a real nice new mall and there was a Diane von Furstenberg and then I ended up seeing these on a shelf and these were on sale and I just loved them I thought they were so cute I love the way the polka dots really aren't like solid polka dots and when I tried them on they are just really really pretty on they're kind of retro and I feel like they kind of remind me of her dresses and her designs and I thought these would look cute with so many different things not necessarily I don't know if I'd wear them with jeans but I think they will look good with like a ruffle. I have a real, I have two black dresses that have some ruffle design. I thought they would look good with that. And I just, they were on sale. They were not as expensive as the other ones. And I ended up, I tried them on and Sheila really, really loved them. And I think they came in like a floral too. I'm not sure. But um, I had to throw away the box. And it was such a pretty box and a pretty bag with the lips on it. And I hated to, but I did so I could pack them and get everything home. This is my last big purchase of the trip. It might have been even my last purchase of the trip on the last night. We went to, I believe, that same Topanga Mall. And there was a beautiful, nice Nordstrom. And... Dillard's was not Dillard's Nordstrom was so nice and I ended up trying on a few pair of shoes and then we got this really cool guy helping us and um he really you know it that makes all the difference he really kind of got me in what I wanted because I had asked I told him I loved nude shoes I said I love designer shoes and everything but I don't want something that's just a go out to dinner shoe I said I would love if I said if you know of anything that is you know, a good shoe that I can really wear. I would love, you know, to have something like that. So, of course, look at what he brought me. The YSL, or now it's just called Saint Saint Laurent, Laurent, um, the Tribute, which is what I was talking about with the Gucci shoes. And he said, all in all, he said, people love these shoes. Now, I have bought these shoes before in the 38 and a half. I bought them from Safu, I remember one time, and they were too big so this time I bought the 38 and it fits perfectly and this color they have the blush nude but he said this was a new color for this year I'm not sure you know it's called tanned t-a-n-n-e-d and they were about the same price now that I look as the um, Gucci and they're just 
gorgeous. They're gorgeous shoes. They look so pretty on. When I put them on, it was another Cinderella moment. Sheila was like, get them. You know, she said they're classic. They're a classic shoe that is just a forever shoe. So many people love them. And so this was my final big purchase. And I do love them. And I could wear these today, too. And the um, heel is high, and but this keeps it from being too uncomfortable. But I can say they make a smaller one. And this is my opinion on those because I think it's either Vince Camuto or Gianni Beanie makes a similar shoe with a small, a shorter heel. And I have gotten those before and I didn't like the pitch. I don't like it when I want that pitch in my heel. I don't like it when there's a wedge. It's because it's not that I'm trying to be taller. I literally like the look of a heel. And I like that feeling. I don't know, when I walk like that, it just doesn't feel right to me. I either want to be with a heel or a flat, like a flip-flop or a tennis shoe or something. That's just the way I am. So these are perfect. And I think they're just beautiful. And I think they are the most beautiful color nude. And I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these for years to come. And I did get to salvage this box. And um, what I did is just pack other stuff in it. So... I'm going to do an outfit of the day and probably have to edit this video down a little bit. And then when I get back, I'll show you my funky <laughs> last pair of sunglasses. And you know that they're going to be funky if I've already prepared you this much. So I'll be right back. So I decided I'm going to try on each shoe for you real quick because I feel like that's how you'll really get the idea of what they look like. And then this top is just like the black one that I have. I told you I was going to end up getting the cream one. So I got it this week and it is the... Um, I'll put the link down below, but it's just like the black one that I have, and I love them. They are so comfortable, and I just, I love them. And then these pants are the Agnes crop from Citizens of Humanity. And then these are the YSL Tribute sandals, and you see how awesome the color is. I even love the way they look with the hot pink nail polish. So let me go get another pair and try those on real quick. So these are the Pedro Garcia, and oh, I love these two. When I, at first, I put on one of each, and I was going to show them to you, but I felt like I, they deserved to have both so you could see. And I think these are very, very practical if you wanted like a high heel booty um, to wear, and I think they're really cool looking. I think they go with lots and lots of good stuff. And these are the Salpi, and these don't have as high of a heel, I can tell, but they are just so comfortable. These are, I think in my mind I was thinking these would be good airport shoes <laughs> because I had, all I had was heels and tennis shoes and this is something that's kind of in between and I love them. And like I said, you can take this and actually tie it, you know, tighter like that. It's made of like a real, you know, soft leather and I just think, and they come in different colors. I noticed there was even a leopard one. So I'll put the link to the store down below. Okay, and then my last sunglasses. I've already shown you my accessories. My, this is that ring that I showed you from French Candy that has the unicorn on it. I think it is so pretty. Really nice. Okay, these are another pair of Versace's that I bought at Sunglass Hut that last day, that, or that last night that we were there. But these are really cool. The girl had me try these on and Sheila just loved them. And here they are and they're kind of like a, I don't know, they're kind of like a combination of a shield and a um, aviator and they're just very, very Versace. Um, Sheila kept saying they're avant-garde <laughs> and I just love them. You know, I, got, I love sunglasses that you can see through them. I love those ones that, um, Alex has that are yellow that you can see through and that's how these are and I love them I think they're really cool and I think they would look really good with anything but I when I tried them on I could just imagine them with a really pretty dress like a really pretty pink dress or something and heels they're just kind of fancy like that to me and um, I just think they're beautiful and they're so different than anything I have they're prettier than I even remember because I haven't been wearing them till I show you guys and they are gold and kind of like a smoky color. They're gorgeous. I'm going to wear these today. 
So, and then here's the box that came with it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And like I said, I'm going to be back soon with uh, my favorites that Tarte has sent me. And maybe I'll just make it a tutorial and try that all over again. That last one was hilarious. It was it just had too many bloopers. <laughs> so I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.